my friend, Dr. Art Bacon. I remember we met when I first came to Talladega uh, back in 1989. He was at the college and we spoke. I was out at the uh, prison working at, as an uh, administrator out there. And we talked about our, where we'd been and traveling around. And we both lived in New York for a while. And I was really impressed with him because not only was he an artist, but he did some scientific work. He, of course, taught at Talladega College. And then he told me about the Aniston bus uh, experience. And that was just like reliving an old memory because I remember when that happened and reading about it in the newspaper. I wasn't in Alabama, but he was truly a Renaissance man. And I just could not let this opportunity to go by, go by without saying that Dr. Bacon will be missed. He was loved. And many people knew who knew him, just knew that he was an exceptional, outstanding person. And I guess, you know, I, I, like I said, just we hope that you're okay. We know you're in a better place. And uh, we'll see you on the other side, Dr. Bacon. Good evening. I, I'm uh, David Bacon, an artist uh, from Silicon Valley. Uh, I met Dr. Bacon. Uh, at Tyler College back in 1976, 77. I knew him as a science professor. He was always uh, at the campus. And, and later, after I left Tyler College, I met him and a couple of artists there. I wasn't aware that he was an artist. So after I met him, at a, we shared an exhibit at the Coleman Museum, and we did two exhibits here together, or somewhere together. And so at one time I noticed that he was, uh, I was admiring his work because he came and told me he did ink wash and, and, and stuff like that, and watercolor. So he told me that uh, that's what, what he preferred, ink wash. Then he said that he had, uh, I looked over and saw him over, over at my pictures. And he kind of, you know, he, did, he didn't frown, you know, he, he kind of admired him. So that was a plus. And so I was glad of that. So we, we did uh, several work. You know, even though he didn't teach me as an art instructor, but just, just uh, looking at somebody's work, it teaches you how to, how to paint like them and to use certain techniques, the lights and darks and shadows and, uh, and colors and things like that. But I think he was a big influence on, in this area and whoever beholds his work. Thank you for this opportunity to uh, to speak about Dr. Bacon. Cleo Thomas, a fraternity brother of Dr. Art Bacon. Go Cap Alpha Psi. I think of Dr. Art Bacon as being central to the eminent art history of Talladega College because of his exceedingly close association with Professor David Driscoll. And I know uh, Professor David Driscoll used to love to taunt and pick at and annoy Art, mainly because uh, there was nobody who he valued or appreciated more. And I can remember being at dinner with uh, Professor and Mrs. Driscoll in um, Maryland and, and having them uh, send Art greetings on my iPad that has since been stolen, but they were, when, when he wasn't well, uh, Mrs. Driscoll says, get up out of that bed. Finally, when I went to uh, the Driscoll's home, as I looked at uh, a beautiful small painting on their wall, when I asked about it, they said, uh, that's by Art Bacon. That's my Art Bacon story. Arthur Bacon was a unique and creative individual. Uh, as a student of the Alabama School of Fine Arts, I met Arthur Bacon, um, I think that might have been in 1989. And who knew when I came to Talladega College, I would actually meet the real Arthur Bacon. And so as um, we're members of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Arthur Bacon wrote my recommendation letter and he swears I only got in the fret because he wrote my letter. Um, always missed, always loved, Arthur Bacon. My name is Angie Thomas. When I was in 10th grade, Back in the 70s at Talladega High School, Mr. Leonard Cole was my biology teacher, and uh, of course Dr. Bacon was working at the college. Uh, I guess he was teaching biology, 
and uh, we went up there, my whole class went, and we observed his lab. We observed them um, dissecting sea urchins. And so that was a neat trip for my class, and that was when I first met Dr. Bacon, and of course I was aware of his art because I've always been a supporter of the art here in Talladega, and I just uh, really think he was a very talented artist and a very good man. So Dr. Joan Fobbs told us about art classes that Dr. Bacon was going to be holding here at Heritage Hall Museum and so I thought it would be a good idea and a bonding thing for my son and myself. So we started taking the acrylics classes and um, my first two pieces under his training were pretty good but he was kind of hard on me. He told me I often overdid things. He said I put too many strokes into it and I said okay. But until I was on my third piece and I wanted to try to do a portrait and for some reason I wanted to do a portrait of my mother and my mother had passed and so I wanted to do something to honor her but at that point that he asked me if I needed help I was crying uncontrollably and so um, he came over even though he was often hard but he came over gently he said can I help you with that and I said yes of course and um, he says now if I help you with it, you can't touch this canvas again, okay? And I said, okay. And he finished the piece and he signed his name and um, I went and got it framed and that hangs in my home. And it's a, just a constant reminder of that day, just a human, helping a human, trying to do something and, um, in that very simple way. I didn't know a lot about Dr. Bacon previous to that, but in that way, he's now part of my family. And I love him for that. My name is Lynn Sims, and I was owner and director of Little House Dance Studio in Talladega for 35 years. And I am so honored to own two Art Bacon pieces. I did not know him personally, but I treasure these pieces. One was of, of ballerinas, and I was able to get that. He was allowed me, he came down on his price a little bit, and. I'm honored to have that piece in my house. And the other he did at a live uh, auction, art auction, at the, one of the Mardi Gras galas. And it was of the dancer, Janasia, that he had seen when he received an award in Montgomery. And she came and danced for him in the museum. And he painted that piece uh, at the Mardi Gras gala. And my daughter bid on it. And I am the proud owner of that piece. So two, two, Beautiful dance pictures in my house mean a great deal to me as a dancer. And I know that was a medium he loved doing later on in his life was a dancer. So and I'm honored to own those pieces. Uh, hi, I'm Perry Trice. I'm the Special Collections Librarian and Archivist for Talladega College. I, um, I was fortunate enough to run into Art Bacon uh, really kind of by accident. We were doing our annual author colloquium in the library, uh, Savory Library at Talladega College, and I kept hearing that the, the famous, uh, the legendary Art Bacon was going to be part of the colloquium, and uh, he was kind of ushered in with his entourage, and, and uh, he, he spoke for a little bit, and he sat for a little bit, and, and sort of held court, and uh, I didn't really feel like I had earned the privilege to uh, come in and, and right up and, and introduce myself, but uh, little bit by little bit the crowd kind of dissipated and, and uh, I, I saw an opportunity he was kind of sitting by himself and, and so I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, kind of screw up my courage and I'm gonna go over and speak to him and uh, I sat down and, and, and uh, started talking to him and, and uh, he was a little a little reticent at first to, to, to begin talking to me and, and uh, I had a bunch of questions that I wanted to ask him because I am an archivist. There were so many things that I wanted to know about his past. And he wasn't really opening up to me. And uh, I thought, I've got to find a way to, to sort of connect with him. And so I, I said uh, something about um, what, what had he thought about um, a local uh, art show that had shown recently. And all of a sudden, his whole demeanor changed. And he went from being somebody that acted like he didn't want to talk to me uh, to turn into to somebody that I almost couldn't stop talking. And suddenly, uh, all the questions that I'd wanted to ask him, uh, uh, he, he had all these stories that he wanted to tell me. Um, but what I would find out later is that with art, that was just the way he was, was that 
so many people that knew him thought that they were the only one that he was going to open up to or that they were the one that had the special relationship with him. And what's been so wonderful about this retrospective show that we've had at Heritage Hall tonight is that there's a room full of people tonight that are all learning that they weren't the special one. Art made you feel like you were the only person he really was confiding in and come to find out he had told that personal story in confidence to 50 other people that you've met tonight and you're coming and finding out that uh, that was that was the gift that art gave you is, is that when you were with him you felt like it was it was only you and and that you were the only thing that mattered and, and I and I think that's the legacy that, that art leaves with us is that uh, not only could he inspire you to want to be as creative as he was but that he made you feel like um, you were important and and not that it was the other way around so thank you art thank you my name is Mark Robertson uh... I first met uh, Dr. Bacon uh, through the Rich Theater. I was working up there, and uh, oh, one uh, one weekend we were doing a fundraiser for the Rich, and uh, I had built a piece of furniture and donated it to for the fundraiser. So I was up there, and then uh, I saw Dr. Bacon painting, and. He had a he had a painting up there that I just absolutely fell in love with, and I offered to buy it from him right then and there. And he's like, "Well, you know, it's not really for sale, right? You know." And I'm like, "Okay, I can respect that. You know, the artists, you know, they get attached to their stuff." So about a year later, well, not quite a year, about maybe nine months later, I saw him again at the at the Ritz, and I asked him. I said, "Do you still have that photo? That that?" picture that you painted that I was interested in and uh, I had taken a photo of it so I sh you know brought the photo up and showed it to him he says oh I remember you he says yeah he says you wouldn't leave me alone that night did you? you was after that thing so anyway so he finally said he says if you donate a certain amount of dollars to the rich theater you can have it and I'm like done so it was awesome so because I had fall, fallen in love with that but anyways not a month after I got it, my house was completely destroyed in that Jack in that tornado in Jacksonville in 2018. And my mother and my daughter are both artists, and so I had like maybe 10 or 12 uh, paintings in that in a, in a hallway, going to all the bedrooms in the house. And the one he made was the only one that survived, and it was covered in insulation and dirt and you know I mean it was I mean literally the entire roof of the house was gone and it was just, I mean it got drenched so I got in touch with Valerie up here and she got in touch with Dr. Bacon and he told me to you know bring it up here and he'd pick it up and see what he could do and he I mean it was as good as new when he finished with it when he cleaned it up for me and he also put it in a frame so the frame that it's in didn't, it did not come with it, and he put it in there. And on the back of the frame are some fingerprints. And I'm kind of hoping they're his. <laughs> you know. But that's my story. My name is Gail Montgomery. I remember Art Bacon when he came back to Talladega College uh, to take over the science division at Talladega College. Um, my parents, Fred Montgomery and Ann Montgomery, were in the kitchen talking uh, one afternoon, and Dad had come in and said, Ann, guess what? Art Bacon is coming back. And the three of us, my brother and my sister and myself, we stood there and for a moment we were wondering what was so wonderful about Art Bacon coming back. But Art was a premier not only a premier artist, but also a wonderful and excellent student in the science division. And Talladega College was ecstatic about one of its students coming back to take over the science division. Hi, my name is Billy Davis, and I am an educator going on 45 years. And 
I have been influenced and, and inspired, inspired by many, many um, African American men. And I am very, very uh, particular about Dr. Bacon. I first met him in 1995 on the square. And what a great man and some of the, the advice he was able to give me that particular day. It's very, very uh, wise as a young man to listen to wiser people. And Dr. Bacon was one of those wise men, especially coming out of Talladega College, uh, a place where there have been trailblazers uh, for years and years. And I always said, wow, Talladega College and historical HBCU. Dr. Bacon made such such a, uh, a mark at Talladega College, uh, being an educator, an artist, and also a civil rights activist. And we thank him for being a trailblazer at Talladega College.